I'll be right back for my encore. Singing telegram for Mighty Max. Strange things are going on in Moscow. In Moscow, Virgil says to get there fast. Go to Moscow now. Take the portal at D5 on the map. Hurry to floor 32. Don't stop and take a nap. Well, what do you expect from a fowl? Hey, I'm a chicken, actually. Oh, thanks, Normie. <laughs> wow! It's hardly the happiest place on Earth, huh? Ugh. Where are we? This is the Russian countryside just outside Moscow. Children have been disappearing at an alarming rate, Mighty Max. Something evil is going on, and it's our job to stop it. Oh, yeah, right, evil. <laughs> what, like some fixed ring toss? Oh, come on, quit pulling my taffy, Verge. It's a carnival. People have fun here. Uh-oh. Sounds like maybe some of the locals are having too much fun. <laughs> You think maybe it's the ticket taker? <laughs> I'll punch his ticket. you with the ugly stick. <laughs> Normie, dude! If they ever make popcorn stand tossing an Olympic event, man, you have got the gold wrapped up. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, anybody got any bright ideas? Because I'm fresh out. I say we fight to the death. You always say that, Norman. True. But that doesn't make it a bad idea. No, Yuri! <laughs> Yuri? Naughty, naughty Yuri, you have been bad boy. Frightening poor customers. <laughs> he is new here. He does not know place yet, like I've taught his other little friends. <laughs> Oh, boy. Hey, thanks for stepping in, Mr., uh... Frico. Frico the Clown. This is my carnival. <laughs> you like? Well, like is a strong word, but it's a real happening place. <laughs> I bet people are knocking down doors to get in, huh? <laughs> is this guy for real? You do like. Wonderful. Let me show it to you. Mr. Frico, sir. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have come across any children here lately, would you? Children? Children? <laughs> we got many children here. Many, many, many. They come, they go. They like carnival, but no children here. Now, except you. <laughs> nice breath there, buddy. <laughs> you press regularly or just every other full moon? Oh, happy? <laughs> Here, have cotton candy. Everyone love cotton candy. Why, thank you. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> I like it. Uh, no, 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 thanks, uh, Frico. I think I'll pass. Green's not really my color. Look, I'm gonna wander around, maybe taking a few rides, see some more sights. Uh, do you mind? No, this carnival. Everybody have fun. But be careful of fun house. Very dangerous place for child. <laughs> yeah? Oh, great. You two have fun. I'll just go look around. <laughs> you see you later, Clowny. Yes. 
You will, little boy. You will. <laughs> Oh dear, you are new around here. Yeah, oh, whatever. <laughs> so look, I, I hate to bother you while you're um eating. Not that I probably have any choice, but uh, <laughs> have you seen any other kids around here by any chance? <laughs> seen any children? Yes, I did. And they were delicious. <laughs> Hey, Normie! Virgil! Normie? Virgil? Great. They're probably having a fine old time while I've got Borst Boy here chasing me. Going up! Uh-oh. Exit! Ferris wheel left! Here goes nothing! Later, Bleeny Puss. See you at the cosmetics counter. Or maybe sooner. Uglies around here, no offense, used to be kids. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Hey, why didn't you just trash Frico like you did my friend Norman? Oh, he can change you back. How? But why is he changing all you kids into monsters? Because I want the whole world to look like me. <laughs> Well, ugly to the left of me, ugly to the right. I resent that remark, mighty one. I'd have you know that in many circles I'd considered quite handsome. Virgil? Of course. Norman? Yes, mighty one. Man, you guys have really changed. Quite. 
We were drugged by that cotton candy, and when we awoke, something had distorted our molecular structure. Oh, it's upsetting, really, as well as itchy. But why? Oh, the usual. Frico has an unbelievably large inferiority complex. Born looking like a clown, he ran away to the only place he felt at home, the circus. And here, he's been planning his revenge ever since. Oh, oh dear, it's another one. No, it, uh, I mean, he is on our side. Hey, can you help my buddy out of there? I'd like you to meet my bud, Yuri. Oh, oh, don't worry, Yuri. We'll find how to change you back, too. I promise. Discuss this like civilized monsters. Oh. <laughs> nice freaks. Nice freaks. You wouldn't want to hurt me, would you? I'm just a kid like you. Well, sort of. humans, but humans nonetheless. Hey, don't become like Frico. He wants to make the whole world like him. Everyone. That means your friends, your families. Do you want what happened to you to happen to them? In other words, freaks of the world, unite. You have nothing to lose but your slobbering faces and, you know, a few extra limbs. Stop Frico. Stop him now. Auditory worthy of... of myself, actually. Yeah, thanks, Birch. Now's our chance. Quick, let's find Frico. Uh, hey, Yuri, y you think you know where he might be? Funhouse? Ugh, looks more like the guest house at Castle Frankenstein. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I believe we should go to the right. <laughs> Man, he laughs a lot, doesn't he? Come on! Virgil said go right, so we go right.
Okay, enough with the small talk. Where are my friends? <laughs> Sorry, can't see you now. They are, how you say, changing. Special mirrors, real funhouse mirrors. What they reflect happens. Care for look. No! <laughs> Virgil, Norman. There is nothing you can do but become. I freak! <laughs> is good then my family is safe and so am i thanks to you ah forget it <laughs> you know nothing any other red-blooded mighty one wouldn't do what happened <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you know what, Virg? I hate to bring this up, but after seeing you the way you were and the way you are now, uh, have you ever thought about getting a beak job? A, a beak job? How dare you? Are you implying that my face is anything less than perfect? Well, you do kind of look like a chicken. A chicken? I am a fowl. My beak looks nothing like chickens. Why, a chicken is thinner and hooked while I have this... Did you guys know that clowns are an important tradition dating all the way back to ancient Greece? In 16th century Europe, harlequin clowns wore funny masks and costumes. Pierrot added white makeup in the 17th century. Then, a breakthrough in clown history. The German clown Pickle Herring introduces oversized shoes and fake noses. <laughs> and mom thinks I spend all my time in school just clowning around. <laughs> See ya!